guys. Hold on, y'all. Where my headphones? My headphones stay missing. Hold on. Because they need to get up off of my girl, Cardi. Like, you know, Cardi was at her after party and she was like, you know, basically telling everyone to have fun. And she was basically, she did, she did like a a thing with her nose basically indicating that, you know, people snort coke. And people are mad because she, she did that. Um, Do y'all not know that celebrities do drugs? Did she lie? Do you do y'all not know that people at that party, maybe 89% of them do do lines of coke? Like, do you? <laughs> she was basically stating the obvious. You can drink. If you don't do that, you don't do that. But for the people who do, do you. That's what she was saying. So it's basically, you know, acknowledging. Once again, Cardi is real. That's why I love her. It's acknowledging the facts of life. Why do people want to act like celebrities don't do drugs? 99.9% of these celebrities are doing drugs. So I want to know what the fuss is about. I really want to know. And I'm going to find the clip. If I can just find my headphones, guys. And then I have my oxtails. I ordered my oxtails. I'm just rummaging around trying to find. Probably fell. I'm just trying to find um, my headphones. I'll be back, you guys. I got to find my headphones because I can't hear. Okay, guys. This is going to be like a reaction slash, slash mukbang because I'm eating oxtails, honey. I get my life when I'm eating my oxtails, cabbage, and sweet plantains. Go rice and peas, period. All right. Guy, this is because once again, once again, I'm in trouble again. I'm always in trouble. I'm always, I'm always in trouble. I'm always a narratives. I'm always something. I'm always, I'm always everything, bro. Like I'm always everything. Like this is why, this is why, like, I don't know if y'all noticed from the beginning of my career to now. Like, this is why I don't like talking. This is why I don't like interacting. This is why I don't like going to award shows. This is why I don't like doing interviews anymore. I can't even host anymore. Like, first... She made a valid point, just to, you know, not to interrupt too much, but notice, Beyonce, does she do any of that? No. There's a reason why certain celebrities don't talk. Even, like, for example, Rihanna, Beyonce, all the major celebrities, do you see them doing interviews like that, you know, talking to people? In the beginning of their career, they had they were doing all of these things to put themselves, you know, to where they are now. But now it's like, do you see them messing with those interviewers and those shows? They don't mess with them people because they're always criticized. It's like, damned if you do, damned if you don't. Beyonce don't do interviews. If it ain't Oprah, she ain't going. Rihanna, she don't do interviews. Like, she don't talk to the people like that. If anything, she'll talk... She'll probably talk to the paps before... She'll probably talk to the fans before any professional interviewer. Like, she don't do that. These these celebrities don't want to deal with, you know, the bull crap that these blogs and these people come up with. These narratives and, like she said. But, if like, if you notice, it's a sad thing because Cardi's a very, like, social type of person she's a social butterfly like she's the girl that wants to talk and wants to you know be herself she can't even be herself fully anymore because why this thing called fame robs you tries to rob you of your personality this thing called fame robs you of your happiness I re- I, re- I remember her saying she was happier when she wasn't famous when she was back in the Bronx that says a lot and all she wanted to do was get on and, you know, take care of her family. But the thing is, is that you can take care of your family if, for example, it was just the money. That's why a lot of people like to stay behind the scenes. They don't want to be on camera. That's why you have producers, engineers. You got people behind the scenes making money, songwriters. They don't want to be singers. They write the songs and they make heck of money. People don't want to be in the limelight. Why? Because everything you do is scrutinized. So that's why these celebrities don't be wanting to talk to people, not a blog, not an interviewer, not a show, not a nothing. 
and pretty much that's where she's at and that's sad because Cardi's the type of girl that wants to talk and wants to interact and wants to you know laugh and have fun and be her beautiful self you can't even be your beautiful self in this industry and that's and that's so sad it's just sad I got I got offered to host this party with Playboy and I and I really didn't I was scared to do it because it's like I have I have a vision for my my first Playboy party but I don't even want to do anything anymore bro I don't want to do anything unless I'm going to a hood strip club because this shit is insane period this shit is insane because don't nobody judge you in the hood strip club you can do whatever you want in the hood that's why I love the hood I like to take regular field trips to the hood like I don't regularly be in the hood but like when it's time for me to go into the hood like it's a field trip to me that's the realest place you can be everybody just vibing chilling Nobody cares about all that extra buku, you know, rah rah. Nobody cares. Everybody be on the block chilling, like, you know what I'm saying? Dope boys transacting. Girls arguing with a man in the middle of the street. You got the park, the kids playing in the park. You and your homegirls chilling, you know, sitting on the park logs and just talking and laughing and stuff. Like, it's nothing better than just the simple things in life. It's like the hood is a way more fun environment than these bougie five-star places with all of these people that is just clout chasers who just, oh my God, she's famous. I need, I need to take a picture to pay my bills and to pay my rent. Cause the paparazzi, they use pictures and they use their, their job is to capture celebrities and then they basically sell them and that's how they make money. So basically, it's like you are a whole asset and a whole bag for people for real, for real. That's why they down your throat. So like she said, the strip clubs in the hood, that's where you want to be, sweetheart. That's where the real is. And this is my thing, right? Why can't a nigga like Steve Harvey go on his show and make all these type of jokes and it's funny, this and that? I make one joke at a, I'm, as a hostess because I'm hosting. I'm hosting a party. Mm -hmm. And it just gets twisted why can't every celebrity joke around and say slick shit and say fuck shit but when i say it it gets blown out of content it gets blown out of content the blogs the blogs gaslight me and post little clips and be like but we post positive things about you this this and that but i don't i don't see when when other celebrities do jokey jokes and do certain shit it's like they brush it off but let cardi it's like it's like i'd be so scared to do any type of moves bro i'd be so scared to do any type of moves this is why this is why when I deleted my social media, I swear to God, if it wasn't for Facebook, because I have a Facebook show, I wasn't even going to fucking put it back up. This is why I don't like going to award shows. This is why I don't like to do interviews. This is why I don't like to say anything. Like, I have I have developed this thing called anxiety because I'm scared. That's I'm so tired. Is so a bitch sad. is tired. And I didn't really want to... I, I, I don't want to be the type of person to be like, oh, Cardi, you always complain about everything. But do y'all see how I could have an amazing day an amazing night with no drama and they no it. bullshit everything goes right and for some reason it's like a devil like it's like a devil like it's just like it's just always something like it's like this is why i don't want to be famous this is why i don't like to hang out this is why i don't want to be anywhere this shit is insane. This is why I just want to be locked with my fucking hood bitches. This is why I just want to be going to my hood friend house Period. to smoke hookah and fucking drink motherfucking Coronas because and peace. once I do these big events, it's like it's like all lies on me. Mm -hmm. I gotta watch everything I gotta say. I gotta this. I gotta that. Then I have to wake up with mad calls about oh Cardi, we're in trouble. This isn't that. Blah blah. It's so un. Guys, I I really feel like I'm a prisoner of fame. Like fame has turned me into a prisoner. I'm not myself anymore. I can't be myself anymore. This is like, this is, oh, I hate fame. Oh my gosh. When, when, if y'all ever make a wish, if, if, have y'all ever like at, on 1111 make a wish mm -hmm. and you guys be like, I wish I was rich and famous? Don't wish to be famous, bro. Wish to be rich. Y'all don't want fame.
Period. Once you be in fame, once you become famous, you you not you can't be yourself. You can't joke. You can't say it's nothing. You can't smack nobody. You can this and that. You can't correct nobody. You can't do nothing. You can't do nothing. You can make jokes. You can't even host a party and say what you want to motherfucking say. You bitch, you can't do anything. I'm really a prisoner of fucking fame. And that's so sad. Fame, 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 fame. I don't even have a voice anymore. And see, this is the thing. Before she even said she can't be herself, I said it before she even said I can't be myself. I said, see, Cardi is a social butterfly. She can't even be her beautiful self. I've been said that before she could even say that. That's the thing. A lot of people, a lot of gullible people really, really think they love to throw it in your face. Oh, you know, Nicki Minaj or whoever celebrity is doing better than you. She's richer and famous. And it's like, you really think that these people are happy? No, like you for real, for real think that because a person has a big bag and is famous that they're happy? Like, no, for real, for real. It takes a very... The reason why... Why do you think that people be okay with not being famous? Why do you think people like Chris Sales, for example, does not want to have a major record label? Or, I mean, a, a major record deal. Why do you think some people decide to go independent and don't want a major record deal? Once you sign over a major, once you sign a major record deal, you're signing over your life. That's basically what it's called, selling your soul. People don't intentionally try to, you know, worship the devil or anything. Like, that's not what Cardi's doing. Like, when you, I'm, the girl had a dream. She wanted to be a rapper. And basically, this, this is the story. She wanted to be a rapper. She had the talent. She busted her tail. She got in the studio. She got on. She did the work. And then, boom, she blew up. All her dreams are coming true. Everything is amazing and wonderful and beautiful. But then, what she didn't know was everything that comes with the fame. Everything that comes with her career. See, the thing is, when the devil is giving you a gift, when he's, for example, when you're getting a con, for example, if you're getting a contract, you know, the bold print, the black bold print that tells you basically the most important information in the document that you should know. Like that's the ba- that's basically the Im- most important thing you should know. It's like in bold black letters so that you will not miss it. Okay. That's the probably the most important part of the agreement. When the devil is giving you fame and fortune and when he's basically, you know, because the industry is very dark. Satan controls that whole industry. So when a person innocently just wants to be a rapper or a singer and comes in, they have no idea. I don't, I don't think Cardi had any clue what she was getting herself into. A lot of people don't know what they're getting themselves into until they get to that level. Until, until they see it, until they experience it, and they're like, oh my God, this is not what I signed up for. If this is not what I signed up for was the person, it would be Cardi B. There's a lot of people who genuinely sign deals to just live their dream, but their dream comes with so many bad things, such as the, 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 the darkness of fame. Fame is a drug that people basically feed off of to feel important, to make money. It's just a very, very, very invasive, intrusive thing. Niggas can't even walk to Walmart, Target, you know, be with their spouse in peace. They can't do nothing, nothing like they can't even make a comment. Cardi didn't go to the Grammys. They was up her ass for not going to the Grammys this year. I'm like, wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. So sis decided not to go to the Grammys and it's a big deal for what? Beyonce didn't go to the Grammy. There's a lot of Grammy award shows that Beyonce did not attend. She's attended a lot of them, but Beyonce hasn't attended all the Grammys. So why is it a problem that Cardi did not attend the Grammys this year? I just want to know. I, an inquiring mind would like to know. And so, like I said, back to what I was saying, when the devil basically is giving you the quote unquote gift, He gives you, oh, this is what these record labels do. Oh, you're going to get, you know, millions of dollars. We're going to give you advance money. We're going to give you a big budget. We're going to give you the music videos. We're going to give you the stylist. We're going to give you, you know, all the security. We're going to give you all the 
um, that you're going to be able to perform. You're going to be able to have fans and, you know, they're going to love you. You're going to be able to live your dream and make music and you're going to be able to like, you know, you know, be the hottest chick or the hottest dude in the game. And, but the bold print, they, they tell you everything that you want to hear, but the bold print, you can't be yourself. You are a prisoner to the label and fame. You lose yourself. You may get addicted to drugs because drugs is very prevalent in that in, in the industry. You may develop anxiety, depression due to the fact that you have no privacy. You have no privacy. Your life now belongs to the public. Your life no longer belongs to you. People are going to be jealous and envious of you and even try to kill you for what you have. That's what happened to Biggie and Tupac. This is the stuff that this is, this is your, your relationship with God is going to be strained because you're so focused on your career. This industry is going to tear you away from God because you're going to be so focused on career, career, career. You're not going to have time to sit and even think to pray to God. You know what I'm saying? That's how the devil gets people. He gives you all the good things, but that bold print, everything I just signed, everything I just read out, everything I just said out, all that negative stuff, that's what he wants you to skip. And he wants you to go ahead and sign a contract. Boom, you turn it in. But you didn't look at the bold print. You didn't look at the cost. You can have all of these things he's saying, but you're going to have to, it's going to cost you. It's going to cost you your privacy. It's going to cost you your sanity. It's going to cost you your mental health. It's going to cost you your God. It's going to cost you your, the most important things in life. It's going to cost you, you know what I'm saying? And normally, sometimes as humans, when we see a letter or, or a contract, we skip the bold print. I read it, but a lot of times people don't read the bold print. The what it, the, the, it's like, OK, you got the contract and the bold print is basically the but this is the stipulation. This is basically what, you know, the stipulation is. There's a but the bold print is the but you can have all of this, but the bold print. This is the cost. This is the price you're going to have to pay. A lot of people skip the bold print and they just look at the beautiful deal and it's like, okay, forget the bold print. I don't care. I'm a sign. I see numbers. I see dream. I see my dream happening and it's going to, you know, it's going to make my family secure. I'm getting out of the Bronx. I'm, yeah. And then when they sign, they didn't read the bold print. You know what I'm saying? And then they go out there and they achieve their dreams. And it's a beautiful thing to achieve your dream. The sad part is, is that achieving your dream in Satan's world, which he, which is the industry he runs, the, it's so dark in the industry. The unfortunate thing is fame is not a place that's positive. Fame costs you negatively. Fame doesn't add to you. Fame is what takes from you. It takes away your happiness. It takes away... Your privacy, it takes away your personality, it takes away, you know, you being social. People become antisocial and people have developed trust issues and people develop paranoia because of fame. Like real life PTSD because it is fame shit. And so, you know, there's a price. And that's why it's like anybody, an upcoming artist, any upcoming artist needs to listen to this stuff. Because you need to know what you see. Not everything that glitters is gold. If not everything that glitters is gold was a mother freaking story, it would be this story right here. Cardi is telling you it looks good. Yes, it does. But you don't know. But you're going to you're paying a hefty price. You're going to have to pay a price, baby. And it's like she's paying the price and she doesn't like it. She didn't sign up for all that. She didn't know. And now she's suffering. So it's like before you over here, you know, trying to, oh, oh, my God, it's the best thing to be famous. Oh, my God, it's the be No, it's not. You have no idea what the hell you're talking about. You have no idea what the hell you're talking about. If you only knew. And like she said, it's better to have money and be a nobody in the public. It's better to be low key and nobody know you and have billions of dollars and you'll be at peace. Maybe you have family members that want your money or whatever, but at least you don't have to deal with the whole world watching you like a hawk. That's the difference. More. Well, I can't have a voice anymore. I can't say anything. Okay. I can't. I can't. I 
I can. I swear to God, if it wasn't for this fucking Facebook show, I would delete all my social medias right now because I'm so tired. I don't understand how I could go to an event. I'd be like, I'm going to be on my best behavior. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And then, boom, the next day, the internet is like, let me find something. Let me find something. Everybody could joke around, but once Cardi joke around, bitch, or whatever. But you know what? I'm, if I, one thing about me is I'm a Libra. I'll be mad about something for an hour. Then a couple hours later, whatever. After I pick up my daughter from school. Mm-hmm. She's um, talking to him. And my, and my mom wake up and everything. I'm going to go to my friend's house. And I'm going to go fucking chill. Because this is... I can't. You I see? hate fame. I hate being famous. I hate it. I- you see? You see where she want to be? She don't want to be in a big ass mansion. And you know, hanging around these Hollywood folk. You see where she wants to be? She want to go to her friend's house. Her regular friend, non-famous house to chill. You know what I'm saying? The things we take for granted. You feel me? People who are not famous be so thirsty. Like these people be so thirsty to get on. And it's like, bro, you so dumb. These people that are richer than rich and happier and, and, and famous, more famous than famous. is telling you it's not what you think. And you got these little dumbass YouTubers and you got these little... Social media people, females that are striving for that lifestyle, little do they know you signing up for misery. You are signing on the dotted line of the devil himself. Get money and keep people out of your business. That's the best thing you can do. I hate, I hate it. I I really f- hate it. Let me tell you something. If y'all ever wish to be rich and famous... Don't wish to be famous. Don't wish to be famous. Wish to be rich. Y'all, y'all see me these couple of days, right? Y'all see that I've been partying, going to the club with my nigga, everything, blah, blah, blah. Y'all see that I've been in a good mood. Once I step out, once I start doing anything that has to do with anything that will go on social media, it's always, always bad. I'm so sick of it. I'm so sick of it. I'm so sick of it. I hate it. Why me? Why me? I feel like God cursed me with fame. Dead ass. Dead fucking ass. God really cursed me with fame because fame is just like, oh, God. It what you think. It's oh, not what I hate you think. it here. Like, if I could click my fucking feet three times and go back to fucking 2013... When I was just a regular bitch, dancing and making money every single night, that's where I want to be. That's when I was me. Not not even. Do you hear that? She'd rather go back to the club and strip and be herself than to be famous and have to be a robot. And it just shows you. That's why I love Cardi because she tells the truth. She's not going to sit up here and be fake and basically lie to y'all and act like, you know, fame is just this beautiful thing. That, you know, has no flaws. Niggas really don't want, I don't want to be famous. That's why I would never, I don't want to be a public figure. I do not want to, I don't want none of that. I used to want to be a singer. I used to want to be a singer, a professional singer. I can sing. I was, I'm capable. But baby, I learned and I grew up and I got wise. Jehovah wisened me up. God wisened me up. I made sure I prayed and I spoke to him about my dreams. And he spoke back and let me know that's not where you want to go. That's not, it's not what you think it is. They look happy, but they're not. And sure enough, I was like, okay. And then you just see the celebrities, how people harass them, taunt them, follow them. They can't even eat a meal in privacy. And they can't, I can't even imagine being famous me being so real, I can't even imagine, like, I remember I saw JT and Uzi, they were out, like, just eating. I can't even imagine, a, and the paparazzi was right there taking pictures. I would be so tight. Do you know how upset I would be? Do you know, do you know the middle fingers I would have stuck up? You do, And then I would have ended up at the, in the headlines. Oh, Alexandra, singer Alexandra, sits middle finger up to paparazzi. Yeah, because what the fuck you following me for? I'm having dinner with my dude. Like, what you here for? Damn. Let a bitch breathe. Like, that's the type of celebrity I would be. Like, I, would not, I wouldn't be with it. Like, leave me alone. Like, 
I'm having dinner. Like they literally were having lunch. And it's like, you got people taking pictures of them. And it's, what? Man, leave these people alone, bruh. And this is exactly why these celebrities be committing suicide. God forbid. These, this is exactly why people with rich, faint, riches and fame, and, and they are the ones that be out here jumping off of bridges, unfortunately, because of, because of this shit called fame. Shorty want to go back to the Bronx and live regular. That's why when people, for example, choose to be regular and people put people down like, oh, you know, you're not rich. You're not, you're not this, you're not that, you're not famous. Um, that's because you're dumb and that's because you're a little ass girl or a little ass boy and you're, you haven't grown up yet. Your brain is still undeveloped because if you knew what fame really was, you wouldn't think like that. You would thank God you have your privacy and you would thank God that you're not famous because the shit that come with fame, this shit causes people to lose their freaking minds. Okay. And I ain't losing my sanity, nor am I sacrificing anything of value to me to be known by a bunch of people that I don't know the fuck I look like. Anywho. 2016, that's when I was me. This whole go by the book stuff, mm -hmm. gotta watch what you say, gotta watch what you do. You this is do not me, bro. Exactly. This is just, this is ridiculous. I don't even understand how, how I always get in trouble. I feel like I'm always in trouble. I feel like I'm, I'm a celebrity that always be in the principal's office, bro. <laughs> not the principal's office. Because you that girl. You the hottest rapper out. That's why. Like, do y'all, do y'all understand? Have y'all ever been, I don't know if y'all, it was y'all, but me, I was always that kid that like, in school, that I'd be like, today I'm going to behave good. I'm going to behave good. I'm going to behave good. And for some reason, you end up in trouble and you always end up in the principal, the supervisor's <laughs> office. That's how I feel when it comes to fame. Like, no matter what I do and how good I try to behave, I always end up in the principal's office. That's how I feel about fame, bro. Because it's like this. <sighs> I can't breathe. I can't breathe. <clears throat> so, yeah, um, pretty much. It's sad. You know what I'm saying? I understand Cardi. I love how real she is. No Fs given. Exactly. People need to know. People said that's the price of fame. However, money can't buy you happiness. More money, more pop. Exactly. Why do you think B.I.G. said more money, more problems? Fame got him killed. Fame causes envy. Fame causes jealousy, and that's exactly what killed Biggie and Tupac. Nothing, nothing killed Biggie and Tupac but envy and jealousy. More money, more problems. Like, so you know, Eminem said it too. Yeah, I mean, anybody who real know it, like anybody with sense knows what she's talking about. Anybody with sense understands what Cardi's talking about. If you really think that fame and money is basically the key to happiness, if you think that money and getting a whole lot of clout or fame or money is what makes you popping or is the life, you're lost. You're very lost. You're going to suffer very much because you're not, you're not, you're unwise. You're inexperienced. You're not. You're not right. You're not mentally developed yet. Because if you were, you would understand what Cardi's saying. This is a multi-million millionaire. And it's like, she can't do nothing. She cannot win for losing. And I, I really don't like the fact that she just can't be herself. She's too much of a, a, a beautiful soul to sit up here and be scrutinized for every little thing. Like, leave my good sis alone. Why you think celebrities shut down? Like I said, they don't be going, they don't talk to people. They don't do interviews. Who you know? What, what celebrity you know do interviews like that? Big celebrities. None of them. I can't think of not one. They don't fool with the game like that. They make their money. They do what they do. They know they signed up for this. It wasn't everything they expected, but they already there. They're stuck. They're famous. It is what it is. Unless they go fall off the face of the earth and go to Antarctica, that's what it is. They, they stuck. So they basically adjust by 
being low key and not talking to these people. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to go to the video where Cardi basically got in trouble. And, you know, I just want to know what the issue is because what the hell did Cardi do? Did she lie? Niggas do do drugs in the industry. I'm just trying to figure out why, why, why are, are people so pressed? Why? Because she's the hottest chick in the game right now. So when you, you when you're the hottest chick, you're the target, basically, pretty much. So basically, this is what the whole fuss was about. Bunnies, tonight we're gonna have fun. Make sure you get your drinks. Make sure you have your So she, so basically, she said, make sure y'all have fun. Make sure y'all do y'all drinks. Take y'all drinks and make sure y'all do y'all little. Because the the people the they they <clears throat> because they really do do that. Like I said, yes, in, in the industry, people do drugs. And so she basically was like, okay, I acknowledge this. Y'all, you know, drink. If you do that, you do you. She acknowledged the evidence and the facts. It's real. People hate real. People just hate real. They hate the fact that people are just honest and real. Cardi was being real. Y'all do do drugs. So she said, you know, like, you do that line, do you. You drink, drink, have fun. What is the big deal? What is the big fuss about? She only told the truth. Niggas be out here snorting coke. Like, it is what it is. Niggas be out here lacing weak. And it's crazy because rappers promote drugs, lean, all types of perks, and different type of pills, popping pills. They promote that to the T in the music, outside the music. Niggas be with, they have blunts in their hands 24-7. Like, you know, niggas be out here just, in the industry open the male rappers but cardi just says something about a line of coke and people are tripping over that when the whole rap industry talks about lean and popping perks and percocets and i could hear the perks calling like what future okay so what call out future then call out all of them all of them because they all what <laughs> but see this is what I'm talking about. People will sit up there and pick on you. when, If you're famous, they'll take something that's completely innocent and completely factual. And they'll turn it into something to, be, to basically, you know, make you look bad. To ruin your day. Just to ruin your day. Cardi LaGrette at the Met Gala. She had a great after party. LaGrette at her after party. And somebody just said, you know what? We're just going to ruin her day. That's what they said. But I'm happy she says she's going to pick up her daughter from school. And when you're a mommy, you forget about the outside world. And I'm happy she got her family and her kids. Oh, yes, she did. I don't see nothing wrong with what she said. She acknowledged the truth. People drink. People smoke. People snort. Yes, at the party, people do do that. That's the facts, which I'm mad for.